All journalists for broadcast, print, or digital media have the same goal, to get a story. But they're doing that in a very different way. And in turn, you'll find that they have very different requirements, motivating factors, and personalities. TV journalists tend to be visually motivated, loud, and rather bold. They want you to look good, be authoritative on camera, and have confidence to speak broadly about a subject to a general audience. They also want assets and elements, such as images, statistics, or video to complement their package. If you can, help them out by offering those type of elements before the interview. In Chapter 1, I told you about the different types of TV interviews, but how should you prepare for a TV interview? A TV booker will normally pre-interview you and then book you for a show or TV package. They are looking for different points of views for their segment. So it's important you try and stick to what you've said in your pre-interview. Be consistent and never change your story on air. Otherwise, you risk not being booked again. Live interviews are fast. You probably only have 30 seconds or a minute to get your points across. As we saw in Chapter 1, if you're being interviewed from a different place than the journalist, there will be a satellite setup, and that will mean a slight time delay. I recommend speaking in complete sentences and avoiding pauses. Don't worry if it takes some time for the interviewer to ask a question. He or she may be trying to establish if you're done with your answer, particularly over a satellite interview. Sometimes there are awkward silences, but remember, silence can be a powerful tool. Sometimes you'll be on the ground and only be able to give a Skype or phone interview, for Skype interviews, make sure you have an interesting background or office. Remove anything that is potentially not on brand and make sure you can get your logo in the background, if appropriate. A bookshelf can also be a nice backdrop. Test your audio with the guest booker or producer before your segment. Make sure you have a good pair of headphones or a built-in speaker on your computer. Give yourself plenty of time in case a segment runs late or early Producers will normally be on Skype before you go live to tell you about this. Check your screen is adjusted properly and that you are sitting up straight and ready to go when the journalist has a question for you. If you're using Google Hangout, make sure you're using the Chrome browser. Don't rely on your smartphone's 3G internet for these type of interviews. If your internet is patchy, suggest a phone interview. The first rule of phone interviews is to make sure you won't get interrupted. Go somewhere quiet and put a sign outside the door saying, Don't disturb. Please keep quiet. Recording in progress. Second rule is always try and do a phone interview over a landline rather than a mobile phone. Turn your mobile phone off as this will stop any feedback or beeping sounds during your segment. Have a glass of water next to you in case your throat gets dry. Don't forget to give them a good photo of yourself so that it can be used on the TV during your interview.